channel. In this video, we will consider the information of working with alerts in Smartix application. Let's consider the formation of alerts for analog and discrete parameters. A demo project with the device, named device1, has been prepared for the video. Let's consider the page of this device. The device has three parameters. One analog parameter is analog 01 and two discrete parameters, discrete 01 and discrete 02. In addition to that, Smartix application automatically creates two standard parameters for each device, a generic alarm parameter and a generic warning parameter. They are triggered when any of the device parameters goes into an alarm or warning state. Let's start with discrete parameters. Only one alert can be generated for discrete parameters. An alarm alert will be generated if the alarm parameter type is specified. A warning alert will be generated if the warning parameter type is specified. Discrete 01 has an alarm parameter type and discrete 02 has a warning parameter type. Let's simulate their active state. As we can see, both discrete parameter widgets and generic parameter widgets have taken the active state. The widget frame indicates that the alarm has not been acknowledged. When we acknowledge the notification, the frame has disappeared. Let's pay attention to the alarm counter. There are two out of four. It means that at the moment, two active alarms are unacknowledged out of four active alarms. Also, the list of unacknowledged alarms is contained in a pop-up area, which is called unacknowledged alarms. In addition to that, all alarms can be acknowledged here at once. Let's acknowledge and immediately reset the alarm state of discrete parameters. All parameters are in the normal state. There are no current alarms on the counter. Let's simulate the active state of the parameters and immediately reset it. The parameters are in a normal state, but the widget frame shows that there was an accident, which has now disappeared. Let's acknowledge it. Let's open the main page. The diagnostics page is set at the main page. Let's simulate the active state of discrete parameters again. On the main page, the alarm counter does not display a list of alarms, but a list of devices with the current and unacknowledged alarms is displayed. In addition to that, there is an area with a list of current alarms on the main page. This list indicates the alarm recording date and time, point, parameter, the alarm reason, and the current value of the parameter. Let's get back to the object page and consider alerts for analog parameters. Up to four alerts can be generated for an analog parameter, two alarms and two warnings. The set limits can be seen directly on the widget for parameter analog 01. You can change this limit by clicking on this widget. Let's simulate the exceed of the parameter value beyond the limits. First will be for the warning, and then for an alarm limit. For one of the parameters, two alarms were generated at once. This can be seen in the list of unacknowledged alarms and in a pop-up window when clicking on the widget. Let's acknowledge the alert and return to the parameter value to the normal state. Now let's simulate the exceed of the parameter value immediately beyond the alarm limit, bypassing the warning limit. In this case, only an alarm alert will be generated without a warning one. Let's acknowledge the alert and return the parameter value to the normal state. Let's summarize. You can find out about the accident of an alarm by corresponding indication on the widget with an alarm parameter, on the widget with a generic device parameter, on the objects icon in the toolbar, on the button unacknowledged alarms, and also in the list of current alarms on the main page. All alarm and warning alerts are stored in the event log. There are three ways to acknowledge an alert. You can acknowledge alerts one by one using the alarm counter. 
You can acknowledge alerts one by one or all at once using the Unacknowledge Alarms button or using the Acknowledge button in the pop-up window when clicking on the widget. In this video, we consider the information about working with alerts in the SmartX application. Thanks for your attention.